The X-Touch Unix Pro is the company's latest attempt at a smartphone priced at 999 dirhams and even though it might seem like just another attempt at a budget flagship, this phone is one that's done right. Starting things off with actual design, I can say it for a fact, it's not a very inspired look and is bang on average but when I picked it up for the very first time, I realized that the phone has quite a bit of heft to it. This is largely due to the metal construction and the whole metal frame around the phone which really adds to the premium feel of the device and combining that with the matte black finish appeals to me personally. But I will say that the phone is a bit on the chunky side but that extra bit of space hasn't really been wasted. Inside you're looking at a 4000 mAh battery which got me around a day or even two days of use on a single charge and if you want to equate that to screen on time, it's around 6-7 to seven hours before I had to plug it in so a very very impressive score and combine that with the USB type C port at the bottom of the device not only makes it future proof but also charges the phone using quick charge so I got around a percentage every 2 minutes and an overall 0-100% charge in about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Quite impressive if I can say so myself. Now jumping back over to design, the one complaint I would have are the buttons. The buttons are a bit loose and really squeak when I press them so overall it dampens the premium feel a little bit but it's not a very big deal. Having talked a fair bit about screen on time already, the screen itself is a 5.5 inch full HD IPS panel which means you'll get good viewing angles and good sunlight legibility as well and with that 2.5D finish it has a slight curvature to it as well. But the one complaint I do have is that the colors on the screen are a bit washed out. They weren't as contrasty as I would have liked them to be and even though the phone actually provides software tweaks that change the screen and tone it to the way you like it, I just couldn't find the way I would like a screen to be. That being said, I don't think this is a major deal breaker and in fact I use this phone quite a bit for multimedia consumption especially because of the dual speakers on board. The experience is not quite stereo because both of them are bottom firing but the speakers do get very loud and even in noisier environments I was able to listen to audio with no problems. There is a slight bit of distortion at higher volumes though and if you're really looking for accurate audio, you should probably give the onboard or out of the box earphones a go because I thought they sounded very well. But enough about multimedia consumption, how well does this phone manage to perform on a day to day basis? Well the short answer is that it's very very fast. I was pleasantly blown away by the amount of performance I got out of this phone especially because how well optimized the software is combined with the hardware and when you've got 6GB of RAM on board, multitasking is a breeze as well. The only slight hit was in gaming where 3D games tended to stutter a little bit but 2D games seem to function fine. The front facing fingerprint sensor is also a joy to use but the slight annoying part about that is that it's a sensor and a clickable button at the same time so when you're trying to multitask it actually actuates the sensor before the button which brings you to the home screen 99% of the time so you don't get that true multitasking experience unless you take big caution when pressing the button. Another very small complaint in terms of software is the fact that Xtouch haven't provided a multi-window option on the phone which I think would have been a necessity and I think both of these problems so to speak can be fixed with a software update and that's where Xtouch have taken the shortcut. I don't think the software is or does provide a very big deal of customization and I know the Play Store can do that for you but out of the box it's not going to be the level of customization that avid Android users are you know used to but in terms of external customization the phone does come with an added case as well as screen protectors so again a very impressive job on that front. And that pretty much brings me on to the final part of this review which is the camera. It's got a 16 megapixel primary sensor at the back which takes some good pictures in the day with some great dynamic range, some good looking detail and some color accurate images but where the camera starts to fall off is in low lighting or indoor shots. The shutter speed tends to slow down and pictures come out a bit blurry but there is a significant reduction of noise in low light pictures but that is at the expense of losing detail. 
As far as video recording goes, it can record in 4K, but it's not as impressive, so I would suggest you record in 1080p, especially because the footage is a lot more stable. Now in terms of the front facing camera, you're looking at an 8 megapixel sensor and once again even though it has the detail, it's just not quite as color accurate but it does have some good dynamic range and I was able to get some good selfies at night as well. But there you have it, those were my thoughts on the Unix Pro from Xtouch. I think they've done a tremendous job with this phone, with the performance it gives, with the battery life and an overall just a package of a smartphone. I think you should definitely check out this phone if you're looking for one that's under a thousand dirhams because you won't go wrong with this one. Thank you guys for watching and leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Adiós.